Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan <coughs> for Friday, January 15th. I'm going to do it on Slash ES, which is the S&P 500, and Slash TF, which is the uh, small cap 2000. And I want to start here on Slash ES, and we'll go ahead and actually I want to show you the daily chart, kind of show you what's going on here. And, I mean, for the most part, I talked about this last night. Um, it's kind of it was super funny, too. I mean, I said, look where we were. Right, support, support, long term, long term structured support, right? And of course, I mean, we had some massive bully bulls get after it today. There's your, there's your one hour uh, trigger, and uh, hopefully you, 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 uh, if you caught a buy trigger today, you know, good for you. I actually caught a sell trigger today. I can actually show that to you. Um, Let's see, 1915.3. I think I sold an hourly chart there. I made quite. A, I made some good money on the hundred bucks there. I, I caught a trigger on the TF too. I actually want to show you that one. Made another. Um, held that for full profit too. So it was a good day. And so actually, I'm a little bummed. I don't have any buys to show you, even though last night in my trade plan I did say look to buy. So I actually don't have any to show. Um, a little bumped, but I know several people bought this daily trigger, and all we had to do is look to the left. I mean, that wasn't very hard to see, right? And um, so, obviously, we did catch a buy trigger. I'm not saying, uh, and, and obviously, on our daily chart, we are we're we're pretty oversold. I mean, you you see this trigger right here that it's basically already there. So now we move to the four-hour chart though, and it tells us just a little bit different story. Four-hour chart is telling me, I mean, look, we're just stuck in the middle. Right, you can see yesterday we had a buy trigger. I mean, look at that. You had a daily buy trigger, a four hour buy trigger, and then I sold right there, right? And but you could have made a oh, crap ton of money if you actually took that advice right there. Um, but uh, you can kind of see we're just chilling in the middle, and we're actually going to jump to the plot chart right now. But chart is basically already trying to make a move to the downside. But uh, for the most part, we do have some opportunities to be a buyer again. We'll move to the plot chart so I can show you that. But I mean, four hour chart doesn't tell us much. It just basically tells us we're uh, basically we're stuck in the middle. So we could either bust or bust. That's all you really need to know. It doesn't tell us much. But for the most part, we are oversold. But uh, a shorter time frame there on that four hour chart, you can kind of see we're just in the middle. But check this out. So I mean, we're in the process as we speak. This messed up my plan. Um, just a little bit. I mean, these bears are working hard to go ahead and fill this value, right? We did come outside of value high just a little bit. Look at us. We're trying to get back inside. I can't imagine. I'm actually not in any sell trades right now, so I'm, I, don't, I don't have anything to show for this move down. But um, I'm not in, and uh, I, I do think that uh, either London will go ahead and finish this job or the U.S. session will go ahead and finish this job to the downside. The only thing, I can't enter now. I, 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 right now, this time frame, I hate trading this chart. I think it's difficult. It kind of does some weird junk, right? Look at this. There's no volume, so it does weird stuff. But uh, I do think we'll go ahead and fill. So let's talk about if it goes lower. And if it goes lower, I'm actually totally cool looking to buy this bottom of this chart here. Look at this. It's value area low. It's Thursday's POC, and it's also the minus one deviation. There's a lot of stuff telling me that if it goes down there and touches, um, we might have a buy trigger right there. So, so basically, the only way I buy this chart, literally, the only way I buy this chart, it's got to come down and touch first. It's got to touch one minute chart and then I enter on a one minute uh, higher low and it's got to be above the minus one and Thursday's POC that comes down I'm not buying here I'm not buying here and I'm not buying here no thank you into the Friday We're, we are going into a four day weekend Nadex is closed on Monday and so I'm not even gonna bother we break through minus one no thank you looks like my weekend will start early if you want to go ahead and, and uh, be stressed then sure you can maybe try trading down here Okay, I don't have a plan for you down there. I'm sorry, I just don't. It's hard. Okay, now we go ahead and make a way, make our way back up. This looks like a really juicy sell zone. This is basically a zone because we got Tuesday's PLC plus 0.5, Friday and value area high all right here. So this is a definite, definite 
uh, sell zone. Now, big clue. So, of course, I'm, I'm cool selling that, and I'm cool kind of selling that. Okay, now we bust through. I'm not. A, I'm not necessarily. I'm not selling here or here or here or here, because if we bust through, more than likely these bulls are getting after it, and they're making a run right up to this plus 0.5. Now, could I look for sell triggers there? Yes. So you got to make sure that when you sell, the chart has to go exactly where you want it to go. If you're if you're losing money, that's probably what's happening to you. You're not just staying patient. Just let it come to you. If it doesn't come, it doesn't come. There's so much money to be made every single day, and you don't have to force. If it doesn't come, it doesn't come. So let's recap this. I'm good selling here. I'm good selling right there. Uh, I'm not good selling here and here and here and here. I'm good selling right there. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, we bust through and hold pullbacks. You can now look to be a buyer and spread that up there if you want to. Instead of staying patient and only looking for sales, you bust through these three, and then the one-minute chart holds the pullback. You might you might be able to go ahead and spread it up to plus 0.5 and Wednesday's POC. So now you can be a bull, spread it up, and then all of a sudden you can go ahead and look to go back to the downside. We break plus 0.5. I mean, the chart just takes off. I don't have much of a plan up here. Obviously selling, right? But um, you break plus 0.5, I really don't have a plan. That's a huge move. We're come from where we're starting, we're basically starting this day on the minus 0.5. You move up to the plus 0.5, that is now a plus 1. Watch the deviation training if that didn't make sense what I just said. Okay? But you move down to the minus 0.5, which we are right here, and then up to the plus 0.5. This is now turned into the plus 1, and this is now turned into the 1.5 as far as the strength of resistance is what it's turned into. If it didn't make sense, you gotta get to the training center and watch it. It'll make total sense. So it's quickly, so decent plan here. Can I say it's gonna be an awesome day? No, but if you stick to the plan, you should be just fine. So now we move over to slash TF. A little bit different chart. Um, it did, it did, it caught a buy trigger as well, right? Buy trigger up in the middle blue Keltner and then caught resistance. I actually sold uh, that resistance. I'll show it there to you right there. The 1028 daily made some good money off of that. Okay, so I sold that resistance. And that came not from the four hour chart, that came from the one hour chart, because this is not a sell trade on the four hour chart, right? That doesn't make sense. The, the sell came, look, see where the sell came from? It came. I sold 1028 daily right there. So see how that makes sense? It doesn't make sense though when you look at the four. That's why it's important to look at all time frames. Every time frame will tell you different trains. Okay. So same deal. TF just kind of hanging out here. Uh, for the most part though, we are oversold and we're likely to make a move back up. We go any lower and I don't have much of a plan. So let's check this out. This is also making a run down to VA low. Okay, it's not an 80% rule because it hasn't exited value yet. But uh, I'm totally cool trying to look for buy triggers right here. Okay, so let's talk about this because it is a little bit different. I'm totally cool looking for buy triggers here and here and maybe right there. Okay, because I look over to the left and the low is right there. So if it comes down and I catch a buy trigger here. We're, we have failed to go lower, and that might be a pretty good one. Okay? So, that's your plan to the downside. You've got to make sure you're entering on one minute uh, uh, lower, higher lows. You break through minus one. I do not have a plan for you. Um, just, if you want to try it, sure. Um, but if you don't know what you're doing, then just stay away. Okay? Back up to the upside. I'm not totally cool with that trigger right there. Honestly, I'd much rather kind of wait for VA high or the plus 0.5. So I'm not really comfortable selling settlement. Not, I don't like that. It's too close to VA high. But uh, I do like that, and I like that. Um, this one makes a little bit more sense as far as you break plus 0.5. Obviously, you can spread that to the plus 1. So I'm a seller. Seller, you break. I'm now a, I'm now a bull. So very, very simple. As you can look to the left... It's exactly where I sold today, right? I sold the 1028 daily right there, right? Which is pretty much the plus 0.5.
and Wednesday's POC, and we've already moved down to the minus 0.5. So if we do make a run back up to plus 0.5, this is the plus 1 now, and this is the plus 1.5. So comment if you have any questions. We will, no trading on Monday. I'll be in the room all morning. Again, comment if you have